Many mass shootings, in fact, all the scenes you see here have roots in domestic violence. Most recent, of course, Sutherland Springs. Police say it was an ongoing domestic fight that led the shooter to kill 26 inside First Baptist Church. In September, Spencer Height opened fire inside the home of his estranged wife in Plano, killing eight. In May, Irby Bowser, convicted of capital murder for the assassinations of four women, including his estranged wife and his live-in girlfriend in Dallas and DeSoto back in 2013. And in 2011, gunman Tando killed his estranged wife and four of her family members at a Grand Prairie skating rink during the couple's son's 11th birthday party. While domestic violence is not a predictor of mass shootings, our Jeff Paul live in Dallas now to explain why many believe there is a connection. Well, yeah, Doug and Kaylee, the FBI says more than half of the mass shootings in our community somehow relate back to some sort of domestic or family violence. Even more troubling, like in Sutherland Springs, the attacks are now going beyond those who are intimately involved. He was convicted of beating his then wife and stepson during his time in the Air Force, was investigated for domestic assault, and authorities say he most recently threatened his mother in law. But then Devin Kelly walked into a church and killed 26 people. It's another loss that we didn't prevent. Paige Flink has spent 20 years as the CEO of Woman's Shelter, the family place. But it's hard to tie one to the other because the majority of abusers are not going to be mass killers. But when they are, it is so devastating. She says when the threats go beyond a partner and spill into surrounding family members, those behaviors need to be considered. Once they've gone past, you're my possession, and it suddenly becomes all you people are my possession, those are things that we could be warning signs. Professor Natalie Nanassi at SMU School of Law says the shooters in Sutherland Springs, the Orlando Pulse nightclub, the Plano watch party, and the attack on the congressional baseball practice all had a history of domestic or family violence. That domestic violence in the home is a psychological training ground for a mass shooting. She says why everyone should be even more concerned, people are being killed who aren't even involved in family disputes. Because it's a problem of domestic abuse, it's a problem of violence in the home that is spilling over into violence in society. The um, Nassie says if we don't combat the root causes of domestic violence, she doesn't expect scenes like this to stop anytime soon. That people don't care about domestic violence, right? They say it's something that, look, it just happens. Sometimes men get angry. You know, I don't think that that's right. But if yeah. we can reach those people by saying that this violence is not going to stay confined. Now, both of the women we spoke with tonight also believe that more can be done to make sure abusers don't have guns in their hands. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. All right, Jeff, thank you for that perspective on this. And the problem